This video will show you how to use the apply score to ungraded feature in Canvas. It's really useful, but it does require a little bit of an explanation. So our current reality is if you select one of the following submission types when you're creating an assignment, Canvas is not going to mark it missing automatically. So if you did a no submission, on paper submission, or an external tool such as using Flipgrid or Google Assignments, Canvas is not able to automatically mark them missing when the due date passes. So what you likely have been forced to do is go through manually and mark each student missing in the gradebook, which can be a very time consuming process. Now you have an option that will save you a lot of time and it's a little bit hidden. So I wanna make sure everyone knows where to find it in their gradebook. Right now I'm in a class that has just a few students, but it'll help us demonstrate how this works. If you click on view and filters, what I recommend is turning on most, if not all of these filters, because what they allow you to do is condense down what you see in your gradebook. So I turned on all the filters and I now have them over here. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to apply a score to students that haven't turned something in yet and also automatically apply the missing status. What you do is you go through your gradebook and you find an assignment group. So I have one here called Google Assignments. So what you do is you click on the three dots for that column in the gradebook and then you click on apply score to ungraded. What it allows you to do is enter a grade that you want for ungraded artifacts, meaning assignments that you have not graded yet, you haven't given them a score in the gradebook. Most people are going to put a zero, but again, this might depend on your department's policies. And then apply missing status. So you check that box as well if you want it to be automatically flagged as missing as well. And then you can choose to apply it to only ungraded artifacts that are past due, meaning that the due date is already passed. Most of the time, this is what you'll want. Or if it's the end of the quarter and you just wanna make sure that you get everything, you can click all ungraded artifacts. So this is a great feature to do once you have completed grading and updated all of your grades across your assignments. And then you click on apply score. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, I did not click on that because I wanna show you how you can apply this to just one assignment. So if you don't want to apply grades across your entire gradebook or an, across an entire assignment group, like your formative and summative categories, you can target just one specific assignment. So I'm going to use these filters up here to condense what I see in my gradebook. I'm going to look at just one specific assignment group, and that one is called Google Assignments. These are external tools, so Canvas cannot mark them missing. Two of these are past due, and one of them is due tomorrow. So what I can do from here You'll see I've got my graded categories here. I've got summative, I've got formative, and then I've got Google assignments. And none of these are flagged missing even though two of them are already past due. If I click on these three little dots and apply score to ungraded, it would apply to just these three assignments. Now if I want to only do the August 7 assignment here because I haven't had a chance to grade the other two, what I can do is search for the assignment in this field here. And then when I click apply score to ungraded, check that box and click apply score. I'll get a little notification. It might take a little bit and I may have to reload my page. Scores to ungraded have processed successfully. So I'll refresh my page here. And you'll see it only applied to the August 7 assignment. It did not apply to these two here. If you wanted to apply to all of them, of course, you have that option as well. One thing to note is if you do this to an assignment by mistake, you will need to go back through manually and mark them to have a none status. If they have a missing status, that zero score will just kind of stay there. So as an example, I'll just delete it in this field here. And you'll see the zeros just pop back in. But if I click on one of these and then put the status to none, I can delete the score and it'll stick. So that's how to use the apply score to ungraded feature in Canvas. Hopefully that is a big time saver for you.